Let's start by discussing what we already know about the different versions of ChatGPT. First off, there's ChatGPT 3.5, which is available for free. However, it does have some limitations. You won't have access to the code interpreter or all the plugins, and during peak times, it might be harder to get in, but overall, it's still a great option since it's free to use. Now, if you're looking for more features, there's ChatGPT 4, which comes at a cost of $1.20 per month. With this version, you get access to all the plugins and the code interpreter. Plus, when web browsing is enabled, you can explore the web right from ChatGPT. But here's the exciting part. ChatGPT 4 offers a larger token limit, 8,192 tokens, which means you can use about 6,000 words in total for both input and output. This allows for more extensive interactions and deeper conversations. Now, for those who need even more capacity, there's ChatGPT's sibling, Claude 2. The best part is, it's currently available for free to anyone. With Claude 2, you get an astonishing token limit of 100,000 tokens, which is roughly equivalent to 75,000 words combined for input and output. This opens up incredible possibilities, like summarizing entire books or handling massive amounts of text. Finally, there's BARD, another variant of ChatGPT, which is also available for free testing. Unfortunately, the exact token limit for BARD hasn't been disclosed to the public yet, so we can't say for sure how much capacity it offers. Remember, the token limit is essential because it determines how much text you can work with. For instance, with ChatGPT 3.5's token limit of 4,096, you get around 3,000 words for both input and output. With ChatGPT 4, you get about 6,000 words, and with Claude 2, a whopping 75,000 words. These different versions cater to various needs and budgets, so choose the one that suits you best and get ready to enjoy some exciting AI-powered interactions. In my opinion, Claude 2 is an excellent AI chatbot, much like ChatGPT, developed by Anthropic, a San Francisco-based AI startup. One of its most remarkable features is that it can summarize a wide range of documents, allowing users to analyze shared findings and discover commonalities between different documents. I find it quite impressive that Claude 2 scored 71.2% on a Python coding test, outperforming ChatGPT, which scored 67%. This indicates that Claude 2 has a strong grasp of coding-related queries, making it a valuable tool for developers and tech enthusiasts. Another advantage of Claude 2 is its up-to-date information, with a cutoff date in early 2023, compared to ChatGPT's September 2021 cutoff. This ensures that users get more current and relevant responses when interacting with the chatbot. On the downside, I would prefer if Claude 2 had a broader availability beyond just the UK and the US. Nevertheless, the sign-up process with just a valid email address and a few prompts is quite convenient. Regarding privacy, it's reassuring that Claude 2 allows users to delete their conversations and supports VPN browsing promoting a sense of security and control over personal data. However, I do acknowledge that Claude 2 has its limitations. Since it lacks internet access, it may struggle to provide accurate real-world data and could make mistakes, especially in complex tasks. Despite this, the chatbot might appear confident in its responses, even when it's not entirely accurate. Overall, I believe Claude 2 is a valuable addition to the AI chatbot landscape particularly for its document summarization capabilities and its coding proficiency. With a wider availability and further improvements, it has the potential to become an even more powerful and reliable tool for users worldwide. One of the AI chatbots worth mentioning is Bing Chat, available as a part of Microsoft Edge. It serves as a fantastic resource for internet searches using the powerful GPT-4 language model. You can find tailored information and recommendations with links through Bing Chat, an exciting aspect is its ability to generate content and even create images with Dolly's help. Best of all, it's free and not limited by a specific number of chats per day, like ChatGPT+. Bing Chat, also known as Discover, is integrated into the Microsoft Edge browser sidebar. It offers chat, composition, and insights features. One notable advantage is that when you're on a web page, Bing Chat can provide context-specific answers to questions related to that page. There are multiple chatbot models available, 
each offering distinct advantages. ChatGPT, powered by GPT 3.5, stands out for its human-like responses and broad acceptance. Claude 2, developed by Anthropic, excels in in-depth document analysis and impressive coding capabilities, though it's limited to the UK and the US. Google Bard provides greater customization in responses, supports multiple languages, and allows image uploads. Lastly, Bing Chat, integrated into Microsoft Edge, is a valuable resource for internet searches, powered by GPT-4, and offers a tailored browsing experience. However, it's important to remember that while AI chatbots can enhance productivity, they should complement human creativity and critical thinking rather than replace them.